Hello Martians, this is Neo Sailor Mars and coming up is OhioCon 2022, which we have not had for a year, but it's exciting. So I will see you guys at Badge Pickup. So pre-reg is until nine o'clock, unfortunately, and I just found this out. So we're gonna try some snack acts I got. Um, this milk mochi it looks like and that's pretty much it so let's give it a try and here it is mm. 10 out of 10 that was good so i ended up getting my badge at 7 30 ish so yeah just to update you guys so also i ran into justin nordell like i was like justin and he was like oh my gosh sarah i didn't recognize you I didn't recognize you at first with the mask, and I got a hug, and we talked a little about um how we've been during the pandemic and whatnot, and like how we were the like last ones to like see each not like see each other in a creepy way, like at a convention before the world kind of shut down. Well, pandemic, but you know what I mean. So yeah, that was fun. Hello everyone again. So I am Setsuna from Yashihime, and it was quite the production to put on. But um, it looks really awesome. So the plan is I have first Cynthia Krantz, John Swayze, I'm not sure about today. It's set on the schedule. It was canceled, but we'll see. And then I've got, if he's if his is canceled, I've got Kiba Walker and Wendy Powell. Maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll have time for both, but um, we'll see. And then I believe Kent Williams, again, it said canceled but i'm not sure so we'll see again then i've got possibly women in anime panel which is like all the uh women voice actors who are guests here and then a um and then i've got stories from the roasts with justin nordell and yeah which i can't record for that because that's an 18 plus panel and the women in anime we'll see about and we'll see about at the autograph sessions if i can record but I shall see you at, um, either before that or at Cynthia's autograph session, if I can record that. So I'm in the front row for Cynthia's autograph session, and we'll see how that goes from there. Sarah. Okay. So, um, I was, I had a gift for you, actually, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Did you make her? No, I wish I could. I got it off Etsy. Oh. Sarah, that's so sweet. Thank you. I'm so tired. And I kept it in a bag because of the pandemic, just to keep it safe. Oh, she's so cute. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I've never seen a Botan keychain or whatever. Well, that was the first. It's so cute. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll use her in my video. <laughs> so are we just going to please sign my little pamphlet? Absolutely. I'm going to try the gold. I think that might show up better. Let's see. Here, should I do it? Yeah, that'll show up. Thank you. You're welcome. And would I be able to get an air hug? Yeah, or a real one, whatever you want. Oh, real one? I didn't know. I Because of the pandemic, I wasn't sure. It's up to you. Real, I'm, real, I'm fine with it. Okay. okay, yeah. And then we're going to do a photo after yes. that. Okay. So I just gave him that little Hattori plushie that I got commissioned <laughs> off Etsy. This... Were someone to ask me, like, what is my favorite anime? This is this is one of my favorite animes and favorite characters. I love Hattori, not only because I got to voice him twice, but also my son is in the show. My I know, son plays. Awesome. Do you know that? I did. I knew that. Yes, he played. He's thirty a now, but when he was twelve, he played the young version of Kyo oh, in the yes. original. Oh my oh, goodness! Mm, I love this. Thank you so much. What's your name? Sarah. Sarah. Thank you so much. This is everything. This is going to go on my for real life keychain. Oh my gosh, really? I feel so honored. I'm going to have to tell the artist. I feel that. honored. Are you kidding me? Did you make this? No, I got it commissioned off Etsy. I, I love that. I love that. Okay, now I say, am I signing something for you? Yes, um, my hat. Because you are definitely hat. my spring. 
Oh, but this is not hottery, so I'm not signing fruits basket. I'm yep. signing for Soul Sid. Eater, yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you have a lot of action on this cap, so where do oh, I, I find a space? Up, I forgot to look ahead of time. There's plenty of room under the bill. Ah! I forgot to look ahead of I'll time. I'll do that. All right, so I... silver works. Is that what's happening? Yes. So I completely forgot to look ahead of time because I know I have so many on there. Do you want to, like, shall I come to this side so you can get us both? Oh, you can no. hold camera over here and you can... We can oh, see both of us. Oh, it's fine. Whichever you want to do. Well, I'll come back over here. I was just trying to get you in the shot, too, so you can prove it happened. It's okay. So I you can just dubbed your you. voice in. Well, I feel honored. Do I make it to you, or is this kind of only room for a name and character, Yeah, right? probably name okay. and character. Just the kind of man I was. Does this work for you, my friend? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. You are welcome so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then I'll, I'll get my car. So I also saw Kent Williams along with Cynthia Krantz and they were super nice. And I tried to see Barry Yondell, but he had to go to opening ceremonies. So I will see him around 4.15 and hopefully I can record for that, but that also happened. So I'm going to wander around the dealer's hall and just, you know, maybe, uh, just yeah, wander around the dealer, the, 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 the dealer's room. I actually have a gift for you. I was supposed to give that to you at Anime Midwest 2020, but then, you know, pandemic happened. Yes. Oh, this is amazing. I need to get some, hold on, let me, you know, she need to send me this video and I need to post it on uh, my Insta. Follow me on Instagram, Barry Endel. Look at that. Awesome, William. Thank you for the gift. You're welcome. Thank you. And we want the, oh, okay. But we want this signed, right, from Soul Eater. My little demon, swing, swing, swing. The jazz is so much more appropriate than nighttime. There's plenty of room under the bell, or there's like some room on the um. I think I can do it here. Except we're not doing it in gold. I know that. What else? We're gonna do a photo yes. after this, right? Yes. Okay, do you wanna see me? Is it boring to see me ring? So because I spent $85 to get all the Saint Seiya Funko Pops, I did not record getting to meet Kiba and Wendy, but Kiba like freaked out when he saw the um, Skila Eo um, little plushie, and he showed his boyfriend too, which he got really excited and he got excited seeing the um signing the saint seiya hat i had uh so yeah and um i saw wendy too and we kind of talked about um she remembered me from ohio con 2020 and we talked about some adventures of us because we're both teachers of our teaching and uh uh yeah and she gave me a hug for the little um moroku plushie i gave her um, and yeah, she signed my Full Metal Alchemist wall scroll, and yeah, I'm saying yeah a lot too. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna wander around. I believe John Swayze is tonight. I don't know, they said it might be canceled. We'll see. Uh, but I'm saying yeah again. <laughs> I'm gonna wander around, and tonight's the women in anime and uh, the roast, little mini roast as they call it. So the I'm really tired, so I'm gonna try and make this quick. The roast, the little mini roast was really hilarious and I loved the panel with Wendy and Cynthia. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow and I will go over the schedule with that tomorrow. I just really need to get some sleep right now.
Okay, so it is Saturday and my first, of, I'm Toa first of all from Yashihime again. And um, I'm just waiting because my first event is autographs with John Swayze. And then I have a drag show and then I have um, meet the bad guys from My Hero Academia. So I'm just gonna wander around and I'll see you guys for John Swayze's autographs. Have a gift. Michael, how are you? Oh, good, good to see you, bud. Hey, it's, it it's me. Yeah. I know. <laughs> okay. I, from, I also have a gift. Here. A gift for you. Thank you. You're welcome. And I put that in a bag because of the pandemic. Awesome. Just to keep it safe. What are we doing here on the video? Oh, just me sign uh, me meeting you and signing my hat. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. I'm signing your hat. <laughs> Thank you so much, John. See here. Oh, thank you. You know what? I'm going to sign it in silver on the brim. Good to spread it out some. There. How's that? That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. So as you saw, meeting John went really well. Um, and I forgot to say, for the drag show, I will not be able to post that because otherwise YouTube will claim it. But um, I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll probably record, but I probably can't put it in the vlog this time. Um, but yeah, and then I've got the uh, Meet the Bad Guys from My Hero Academia, which I hope I can record for, but if um, I can, you'll see the highlights from there. I completely forgot that I have a voice actor um, panel, so I will be showing highlights from that and then showing potentially highlights from the My Hero panel. So I may not post the, um, the um, big voice acting panel fully uh, because there are some things that were said that our YouTube may not be happy with me about posting. So I might, I'll probably just post like some funny clips my question but I'm not probably gonna post the whole thing just because I don't want YouTube to get upset with me because that's one more thing I don't need on my plate so yeah everybody Hi. Hi. we all have to go to Hanukkah yeah. you are here for the big voice actor panel Uh, please join me in welcoming to the stage some of your favorite voices and the human bodies that they come out of. Ladies and gentlemen, first up we have Rob Mungo! We've got Mr. John Swayze! Mademoiselle Cynthia Craig! Mademoiselle Kiba Walker! <laughs> Cole Biker! <laughs> Esquire! <laughs> Wendy Mother Blanken Powell! <laughs> I'm already out! Senor Barry Adele! Yeah. The man, the myth, yeah, that's it, he's just a myth. Michael Sutter Nicholas! Woo. Did you hear myth or miss? Myth. Yeah. I heard the man, the miss. <laughs> Michael Sutter <laughs> Can I go? Yeah. Yeah. What is the either the most funny or awkward direction you've ever either been given or given? I can answer yeah, this. <laughs> I was once doing there was an anime that was being created for the American market. Everything we do is generally already done in Japan. There was once an anime that was being done by Japanese artists for the American market first. And so I was brought in to audition for one of the roles. 
And so they had the Japanese creator, the Japanese translator, the American director, and the American engineer in the booth. And I'm in the booth and they go, okay, what are you, I go, what are you looking for? And he says, well, they talk back and forth, the Japanese discuss, and he says, he's looking for um, uh, Space John Wayne. <laughs> I said, okay, I don't know what the hell that means, but all right, so I'll do a bad John Wayne impression. I was like, well, we've got to get into hyperspace, Pilgrim, you know? <laughs> and then they go back and forth, they're like, no, 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 no. I came and they go, Space John Wayne. I go, well, that's not a no, but all right. <laughs> I'll try it again. And so I blow it through, did this two or three times, and each time they would say, Space John Wayne. And so they're going back and forth and trying to decipher what he's saying. Finally, the American engineer goes, he means Han Solo. <laughs> go, oh, Space John Wayne. <laughs> now I get it. And I still don't get the role. <laughs> you know, John Wayne had like 30 pounds of poop in him when he died. Okay. Thank you so much. No, but yeah, that was a fun <laughs> As, as there was 30 pounds of poop in my audition, too. <laughs> as a director, I usually, like, I want the actor to do the line. And in, in, in Houston, at Sentai, we do things a little differently. Yeah. We'll actually, we won't preview it. We'll just go for it. And we all want to see what kind of organic <laughs> performance we can get. And then we'll do it. And then we'll go back and we'll do it again. If it, you know. But usually, um, my, my line of direction is, hey, let's do that one more time. And this time, let's try not to suck. Yeah. <laughs> and they do it and they nail it. I learned that. Did you learn that from Greenfield? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the that's the best thing when you're when you're like you do a take and one of the original found, founders of ADV, uh, Matt Greenfield, he would he's a big guy, looks kinda like Jerry Garcia. And uh, he would do this, he'd be like, Okay, <laughs> let's do another take. And you do another take, and you you look out because as actors we're all very insecure, yeah. and we look out for that approval. And instead of getting a, he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> but what you don't know, he's been up for like four days straight, so he's just tired. He's like, that was great. Move on. I was gonna say when I was working on Two Love Room with John. <laughs> A lot of that show. Have anyone seen Two Love Room? Um, that's a wild show. Uh, so any direction you gave me was just like, what is happening? And you did that. You were like, we're just going to do it. Go for it. And I'd be like, what's happening? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, but I was going to say, one of the most awkward lines I've ever had to read was in Case Fell Kabuki Cho. Um, and uh, I play a drag queen named Diana who works for uh, Miss Hudson. And uh, literally, this character proposes to this other queen, and I'm in the background. And uh, Chris George directed that, and he's like, so we're going to try a couple different lines. And one of them uh, was, I said, Oh, babe, that rock's at least, uh, worth at least a couple hand. And so that was a line, and we laughed for like 15 minutes to a point where I was like, I don't know which version's gonna be kept, but we'll see. And when it came out, it was that one, and I said, great, that's awesome. Perfect, so now that's in my visual demo reel. Because <laughs> it's one of my favorites, so. I think for me, it would have to be Shin Shan. Anything about a glory hole, or the boob job job. Oh, that show, for sure, I was gonna say the same thing. My so favorite long. one was, she's. She's got Shin behind her on the bike going up the big hill for school. And you know Mitzi loves a discount. And she hears the guy outside the market with his bullhorn going, Irregular tampons, have off. And she goes, Irregular? That's me! Those are my fun, the most funny lines I got to say. Definitely the same show. And I was Hildy the Suez mother. Um, I was Griselda the German jogger that farted the entire time I jogged. People show them that. Typecasting. Yeah. And then I was the fever demon. So I loved that show. And it was filthy and awful. And they were the worst lines ever, but also the best lines. And I was the funnel cake man. And <laughs> so there you go. Question. Wow. Question. It's a lot, right? Uh, a lot to unpack there. Thank you. Could each of you guys say like a quick line from your favorite character that you voiced? I 
I'll put my face down there. There's pee on it. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. The jazz is so much more appropriate at that time. I don't know. I can be whoever you want. So who would you like with your full metal pit sweet? I'm going to stuff you like a turkey. <laughs> oh my god. Um, uh, 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 da-da-da-da. Dude, she's like a villain in an RPG! That's my favorite. Bingo, bingo, you win the prize. <laughs> I'd like to fit you for your very own coffin one. <laughs> well, we better get to light speed, Pilgrim. <laughs> So I decided not to go to the drag show because the um line was too long after I came out of my the um voice acting panel. So I'm just gonna wait here for the um meet the villains of my hero panel. So I will see you guys for highlights of that if I can if I'm able to record for that. Are you all familiar with Ashley Furniture? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my wife and I bought a bed. <laughs> and so we thought 25 years of marriage, we should have a bed by now. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, no, we bought a bed in this uh, stupid supply chain snap that we're all in. Um, we bought it back in October. It is now being delivered next week. So I just texted him, I just got the word, uh, you know, go ahead. And it's funny, too, because I finally called and I said, hey, listen, I don't know if you know who I am. <laughs> but I will destroy Ashley Furniture. <laughs> Actually, I said, I tell you what, when do you think you'll have it? Because the day kept getting moved back, 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 back. And I said, all right, the 15th it is. But know this, if it's not here on the 15th, I will cancel the order. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later, I got a text. Your furniture will be delivered on the 15th. <laughs> Intimidation. Oh, I did. Or you guys, if you have a question, you just shout it out. Yeah. Here. You'd be nice and loud. Yeah. Yes. Your oh. Wait, hang on. We got to do a raise hand. Raise hand. I, no. I don't mean just shout it out, like raise your hand. <laughs> In fact, I do it. All at once, everyone shout your question at the same time. Okay. So we have a question right here in the front. Yes. Oh, I go. Okay. Um, what was the most fun scene for you guys to record in My Hero? When I kicked all my dad. <laughs> I have that on a loop in my bedroom. <laughs> it's something for you to listen to while you sleep standing up. <laughs> Indeed. I just sleep like this. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Mine's not dying. Just losing the R. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Ah, uh, yeah. I could say kicking Bakugo and Todoroki's ass. That didn't happen though. They kicked mine. Um, but my favorite part of that was the fact that they used my scene as the bumper for Toonami leading up to the episode. So yeah, hearing my friends being like, oh my god, by the way, this guy on like the Toonami commercial sounds sort of like you. And I was like, that's because it is me. <laughs> and that was like the one time I kind of cried over the fact I get to do this for a living because uh, I grew up with Toonami. So that was kind of like my villain origin story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, hearing that, but getting my ass by Todoroki and Bakugo. Never forget it. <laughs> yeah. Just listen. I was gonna say real quick because I'm stage actor too. My other villains played Sweeney Todd, and I played the Wicked Witch of the West and the Wizard of Oz and Elmira Gulch. So I rode a bicycle and the burning. <laughs> <laughs> and and you're gonna call up too. Um, but it, as far as my hero Damien, it was really strange because Colleen Clinton there, Luffy, blah blah blah, is was my director. And she went in and said, Oh, you're my favorite villain, I love you, blah, 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 blah. And I started voicing Sam. And I did my normal shtick, you know. I was like, hey, what's the hurry? She goes, no. Flatten it out. There's like no emotion. I was like, 
Hey, Melissa, how are you? I'm flattered. I was like, hello, professor, how are you? And I was like, boy, this is fun. <laughs> I got it as a director, it's brilliant to show both ends of the spectrum, because if you know the movie, I kind of lose it at the end and have a real, you know, dramatic Oscar winning, award winning performance. Um, you know, crying and breaking down and stuff. So she knew, she knew what she was talking about. It was very smart of her. But uh, yeah, I freaked out at the end of that movie. Now when I went to see the premiere, I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't keep up with it, so I just kept ordering food. But then I felt like a real superstar because I woke up at 3 o'clock one morning and two of my movies, it was Broly and um, this one, were on the Stars Network. So I recorded it and I went back and watched it. And I think it's really quite brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> So the panels were a lot of fun and yeah, um, I'm just waiting to get my ride home and then I will see you guys tomorrow. So after forgetting my badge at home, having to go back and do that, get that, and I'm sorry if my glasses are fogging, I am back. I got food and I'm waiting for a Kiba Walker's panel. I am Sarda today from the Boruto series and I will, if I can record for that, oh my god, my glasses are fogging up. <laughs> so. If I can record for that, I will see you guys for the highlights of those, and if not, I'll just talk about what happens. So I wasn't able to record for that, but I um, asked um, Kiba what the most emotional scene he's recorded so far is, and it was, um, he said it was from this show called 86, and it was a, it was this, like, uh, like Gundam-ish show for, uh, that was directed by Ezra Weiss, and yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm so sorry this vlog's not been real exciting, um, but I will see you guys next time. Um, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you want to become a Martian. Remember to be strong, be confident, and be brave, and I'll see you guys next time.